Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on Beam NG Drive Multiplayer for a very silly race. This is the Death Run map made by Spieler, an absolutely fantastic map that has these kind of full guys style courses. We're going to be doing a little bit of a tournament. We're going to be doing four heats tackling these two circuits here. The winner will progress to the final. Everybody else will kind of progress on to the next heat. So we're starting off with eight cars running, which is going to be absolute madness, then seven uh, for the next round and so on and so forth until we have four finalists. We will race down these courses. There's a finish line at the end. If you fall off, you are allowed to reset, but you have to reset back at the start. It's unlikely if you fall off, you're going to be able to win, but you never know. A lot of chaos can happen, and in true, I say full guys fashion, bumping is allowed. Uh, whether we're going to see much of it, because you don't want to break your own car, the last thing you want to do is break your own steering. Uh, what is going on here? I don't know. Uh, so, <laughs> the only real rules for the vehicles, no slick tyres, power to weight ratio at 0 0.2, so we've got an interesting selection. In Pegasus front-wheel drive cover, I've got the all-wheel drive Legrand, Longbow's got a go-kart, that's a Bolide somewhere. Joe has a Wendover, Brazen has a diesel, turbo diesel truck. Uh, Ollie has a van that's likely to fall over. Shadow and Amy have got the Chariots, kind of off roady spec Chariots. I've got rally suspension and in the hope that it might cushion some of the bumps because not only have we got to navigate the course, uh, we have also got to uh, navigate... Oh, apparently it doesn't like the command because I had caps lock on by accident. Um, yeah, not only have we got to navigate the course, but we've got to survive the course at the end of the day. This is beam. So damage, losing drive shaft, losing steering is all very possible. We howl our way into the first obstacle. Uh, where are we going to come out? Because we probably don't quite have the same amount of steering as in Pega, for example. The covered is smaller and lighter uh, than we are. Now, there's li we're likely to cross over because we're both going to want the turn in. No, oh, no. We both wanted to get the turn in for that corner. And my brakes were not as good as I thought they were going to be. Sorry, Impega. Uh, <laughs> this car. Oh, no, 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 no. I was trying to catch up to Joe. We have smashed it into the wall. Brazen has fallen off. It's now Joe leading the way. Amy is fine with the Cherrier. Uh, we are over that obstacle. We've kind of got to go for it a little bit. Joe might be in trouble. Yeah, it looks like Joe is in trouble on this, like, checkerboardy thing. It looks like Amy may have had an accident as well. Uh, we may have inherited a lead here that I was not expecting. I can hear something behind me. Uh, oh, I can hear a... S I think it's Joe's smashed up car that I can hear. Front end of mine isn't quite right. The hit with Impega did some damage on me. Uh, it's definitely broken something in the steering. I think. Uh, <laughs> but we've got away with it. I think all of our, our goal here is going to be finished cleanly. Joe might send it down here to try and jump. I'm not going to go for airtime. I don't want to. I don't really need to. Uh, we will just easy does it through this section. Don't clonk anything. Don't clonk anything. It is a victory for us. In fact, I think Joe has fallen off. We are through! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that after I bumped in Pega and then got my car caught on one of the uh, raised bits of floor. It looks like Joe is going to make it, but yeah, they hit the China checkerboardy bit. Joe and Amy both hit checkerboardy bits and got into trouble. They're, oh, well, Joe's car's... The damage isn't synced, but Joe's car is definitely um, broken. Because that's got some front-end damage. It looks like Amy might come home in third on this one. The rest of the positions don't really matter. It's mostly just for honour at this stage. Uh... <laughs> Amy looks like they're going to cross the finish line in third. Oh, the van has hit a post. It has recovered. And the chariot is across the line. It's lost a wheel somewhere along the line, but has got there. Ollie's van is a wreck. But it looks like it might finish. All we've got going on over here. Brazer's navigating that. I think everyone else might have stopped because at the end of the day, it is done. And the van is going to cross the finish line in fourth. Well, that is the first round. We are through. There was a bit of a shunt with Impega on that one. Uh, which was, yeah, unfortunate. And in, in that, we took some damage. We took, made a silly error. I really shouldn't have done trying to chase down the leaders. But we've got away with it. We are guaranteed into the, uh, into the final. So, we are on to 
the second round. The grid, a little bit of a reshuffle. Longbow and Amy are on the front row. Then it's Impega and Shadow. Brazen and Ollie and Joe at the back. The winner will join me in the final. This course, a little different. I think this course is a little bit more almost traditional race. I mean, it's very technical obstacles and everything, but a little bit more, rather than, uh, I guess, perhaps some of the more climby obstacles. Amy with a great start over there with the chariot as you go around the toilet seats. I can't think of a bet. They do kind of look like toilet seats. Uh, yeah, Amy with a big lead. Shadow is going to go up to second, but clonks the wall, and that's made an absolute kerfuffle of everything. Oh, Lombo might be broken or stuck. Lombo's in trouble. Impega's giving Shadow some help around there, and Shadow can't make the corner. Brazes to the outside of Lombo. Uh, through here, it uh, will be the inside for the next corner. The truck might do it. Joe's found a shortcut. Uh, has made it work, and has got almost dumped off the course. Little bump between Lombo and uh, whoever it was. Uh, through there. Impega is up to second, has got clear of Shadow. Amy with a sizable lead. That Cherry launches like crazy as we head over the jumps now. Uh, make sure you get enough speed to clear it. This bit here is a little bit difficult if you do not line the car up perfectly for it. Uh, you want to get it. There we go. Amy's taking it a little bit cautiously. Uh, Impega is just going for it because you've got to at this stage. Ooh, Impega clipped the edge and has got it stuck. That's going to make life difficult for Shadow, but I think Shadow can negotiate it. The Cherrier is in to the kind of half pipes. It's a very tight corner coming up here. Just seen bits of debris fall down. Oh, Amy almost binned it. That was so close to uh, being a race ending crash. And there's no crazy rush. Brazen is in second now on the half pipes uh, and has got through. You can't really send it too hard uh, through this next second. There's not really much Wait, oh, Amy's just playing it safe. Good tactic. Kind of what I did at the end of the previous race. And it is going to be the Chariot that is across the line. But that was so close. The near miss on this bit was crazy. That could have been a race ending crash at that point. Uh, certainly a race hindering crash. Brazen looks like they're going to cross the line in second. It does look like Lombo has got stuck on the half pipes. Yep, Longbow's gone and done. This course has claimed some victims around here. And Pega unlucky at... Uh, Covert looked fast. It just got stuck on the... I don't know what to call it, but one of the climbs. Amy is through to the next round. The truck is not. Brazen will have to go again. There will be another chance for that. And Shadow is up into the half pipes. Will Shadow make it through here? Uh, it's, a, it's not the most difficult half pipe in the world. Actually, it's the, getting the braking right for this bit that's tough. <laughs> and off we go. <laughs> Shadow's gone. Oh, and Pega's Covert does not like that section. Oh, dear. Neither does Joe's car. Well, I mean, that was quite good timing from... But from, from my camera work there, Joe has actually managed to climb through it. Ollie's got stuck as well. It's a challenging section. It's a challenging section, but there we go. Oh, and Joe fell off the half pipe. Amy is through. Brazen is second, but we'll have to try again. We head on to heat number three. We're back on the original circuit. Speed Beast has joined, so we have a sunburst added into the mix. Uh... Who knows what we're going to see here. We know Impega's car is quick, but has maybe maybe some ground clearance issues. Um, hope, well, I'm, I'm not going to be there to accidentally punt Impega off this time around. Uh, we will... Well, Joe's managed to reverse off the line. That's a good start. Let's see if Turbo Diesel Truck can get a good launch. It does. The uh, Brazen will lead the way, followed by a van. The Wendover's on the other side. Brazen almost escaped the pipes. Longbow is into the pipes as well. Uh, now, are we going to see any collisions through here? The van has almost fallen over. Landed it well, actually. Uh, <laughs> that, that could have gone so much worse. Right, we are on towards this next one. Will anybody try and take the shortcuts here? Uh, it's very difficult to aim your vehicle through there. It's possible to climb those ramps, and it is a, technically a shorter route, but it's really tough to do. Speed Beast is trying it. Speed Beast really has to. They were miles back, so it was worth a go. Uh, but I don't think it's going to... Might gain a little bit. Oh, and Peg has missed it. Joe's fallen off. Longbow has almost fallen off, but saved it. Ollie's in trouble. That might be stuck. And Peg has recovered it. Nicely done, in Pega. Well done. And Peg is up to second here with a great run across there. Fantastic stuff. Now, Brayson has got the lead of the race in the big diesel truck. And Pega is sending it and really has to at this stage. He's making up, has made up some time, really, in the covert. So there might be a chance for that if Brazen doesn't realise how close the covert is or if Impega just launches it over the end. Longbow's up to third with what's barely a bowline, but is technically a bowline. Shadow is fourth at the moment. The others have all fallen off. Now, 
Brazen will take this easy, I would expect, just trying not to crash at the moment from the lead of the race. And Pega is likely to send it. Oh, Brazen's in trouble! Brazen's in huge trouble! Brazen's gone! Brazen's off! Okay, and Pega's probably not going to send it. Keep it under control now for the Coverts. It is nicely done. Where is Longbow? Longbow's quite a long way back here in all of this. And Pega is going to cross the line! And Pega claims victory! The Covert is through! to the final. Longbow is going to cross the line in second. Shadow will take third. Longbow can't stop. Uh, but it is in Pega into the final. Get it got stuck on the kind of narrow rollers uh, did in Pega's covert. Very lucky to recover that from, from all of that. But we take victory. Brazen just lost the back end going down the hill of that. You can see the witness marks, I think. On the, was that where Brazen went off, maybe? I think maybe that inside one is where it hit the post and pinged off. That's so unlucky. Literally a hill away from the finish line and the turbo truck was off. Joe's fallen in the water and Ollie is stuck on the crater. Oh, it, uh, maybe, got get, maybe he's going to get going. Uh, that, is, that is desperately unlucky. Poor Brazen's truck. That's what happens. That's why you never give up. I was actually fully expecting the Coverts to launch over these jumps to try and catch up, but they probably saw Brazen have an accident and then backed it off immediately to not have a similar one. It's dangerous. That section is, is a dangerous one at the end of the day. Well, we have three of our finalists there as they're playing a bit of sumo on the top of the platform. We have one more round to go. Who will join us in the final? It's time for the final the final chance, the last qualifying round. We have Shadow and Ollie on the front row. Uh, God knows what we're going to see on this particular course. Uh, the If the van gets a good start, the really narrow hill and slalom is going to be a right pain in the arse. Because uh, you do not want to be stuck behind the van, particularly, on the run up there. Uh, oh, it's a little bit of creeping from Shadow. Uh, there was a little bit of creeping. So the cars on the left-hand side have a slight advantage in terms of a racing line, but the van could block the corner, doesn't. Shadow gets a little, gets away with it slightly uh, as we head into the twisty sections. Uh, who has got the best turning circle? Well, Ollie got helped by a bolide. Shadow's going for the handbrake. I mean, that's what I've, I would be doing on this course. That's what we've seen plenty of. All Shadow almost turned in a bit too soon. Now, you're going to have to take one of these jumps at some point really. Uh, it's all quite neatly done from a bit. I can just hear turbos from Brazen's truck. Joe tried, has, has tried and successfully jumped to the inside of Brazen, but he's going to get stuck on the outside through the next one. Shadow leads. Ollie's not so good through the slalom. Lombo probably the most agile through that section. We're over the jumps. Now we've seen a lot of cars have trouble with this climb bottoming out. Now the van shouldn't. One of the big strengths of the van is it really shouldn't get stuck. I take it back. It has. It's fallen in and has blocked Longbow and all manner of chaos has gone on. Brazen snuck past. Shadow's on to the wall ride. Will Shadow make it through? They do quite nicely. This time they are earlier on the brakes. Remembered what happened last time. Do get the vehicle stopped. Uh, it's going to be difficult for Brazen to do much to catch up here if there isn't a mistake from Shadow. Brazen sent it up that section. Uh, Longbow and Ollie have had a crash. Joe's gone way too fast and fallen off. Brazen Brazen's got stuck on that one. It looks like Speedbeast might take second. All Shadow has to do is get through this next couple of corners, and they do! Shadow is victorious, and Cheria is through. But that's two Cherries into the final now. Brazen is still stuck on there. Oh, dear. Speedbeast is going to cross the line in second with the Sunburst, and there it is across the line. Uh, unfortunately, that is all of for naught in this one. Ollie's van is an absolute write-off. Uh, <laughs> bad things have happened. Oh, and Brazen's finally gone in the water. Goodbye. <laughs> the truck's out. Is the van really going to finish like that? Go on, Ollie. I mean, I want to see the I want to see the van make it. Oh, it's a little bit beached. Uh, it's a little bit stuck. It's lost a rear wheel. It's You don't see the characters in Fall Guys sort of finishing with one leg, but this is the equivalent essentially. Uh, we are well, Brazen's teleported. Yeah, Brazen. It was a valiant effort from from Brazen, from Ollie in those uh, much larger vehicles trying to get through. They got close a few times. Up oh, and away we go. <laughs> uh, oh, and physics has exploded. Well, well, Dreamer Shadow, no mistakes. At the end of the day, um, stayed stayed out of trouble. Oh, yeah, did, didn't make any mistakes. The van got a little bit unlucky getting caught. It was kind of catching, but yeah, got caught on these obstacles. 
Uh, and then there was a big crash in the half pipe. I didn't actually quite see what happened. It broke Longbow's car, certainly put the bolide out. Uh, Joe with a spectacular death. But there we go. That is the heats done. We will now move on to the third and final course. Well, this is it. The grand finale. We have got three cars. I am the only non-hatchback here with the Legron. We have Amy with the Chariot. We have my all-wheel drive Legron. All-wheel drive Chariot. All-wheel drive Legron. Front-wheel drive Cover for Impega. The smallest and lightest car here. And Shadow also with an all-wheel drive Chariot. Slightly less sporty version of Amy's. So, we're on the other route that we have here. And for a special kind of final challenge, if you will... We've got to race all the way to the end, turn around, and come back. So, we've got to preserve the cars a little bit. Damage is a real, real concern here. Uh, of course, falling off is a real concern. If we get to the sort of halfway stage, you can reset your spawn up there. So, if we fall off on the way back, we can uh, reset ourselves back to that point. Uh... I genuinely don't know. We had a really good first round. We haven't really had much of a test of this car because everyone kind of fell off in our first... Well, we pushed in Pega off and then everyone else fell off. Um, so, yeah, we have probably got the heaviest car here, which could be helpful if push comes to shove, quite literally, in this one. Uh, we are going to get the countdown started. Uh, I, am, I think the Cherries are going to launch quicker than me, but we are off and we are underway. Well, certainly Amy's car has launched faster than us. Uh, we are going to try and get alongside because we are going to end up oh, in an awkward place there. Uh, our, so steering is okay. It's not perfect, but it is okay. Uh, right. Oh. oh, no. Pega's given us a bump, and we've lost a wheel, and we are off. Uh, <laughs> it was payback for the first round. I think our shadow has fallen off. Right. So the other thing you got to bear in mind, right, is they've got to turn around. They are going to be racing towards us. So, it is going that they are going to have to navigate heading towards us, which is probably going to be quite dangerous, uh, especially if I happen to see a pegger around. Uh <laughs> I mean, this, is there going to be mistakes? Quite possibly. It looks like Impega is in trouble. Oh, I've lost a tyre across that uh, checkerboardy bit. That is not what I want. Now, they, you, if you roll, you are allowed to node grabber the car. So I think Impega might be trying to node grabber that car back upright. Um, we will give it. We won't push it off. I did, oh, there was a clock behind us. So Amy has got quite a big lead. We've got to be careful down here. Oh. Bumped off the, uh, I don't know, whatever the hell obstacle that you want to call that. But we are there. Shadow has sent... No, Shadow's just had a better run through there. My my steering is really bad at this point. Uh, we are around the donut. That's fine. Yeah, my, my tyre being gone isn't great news for us. It's not the worst problem to have. Just really is hindering my turning. Here we go. We will climb up the hill. Amy is going to be careful of us. Yeah, you don't want to get in a crash. I don't know how bad that... Oh yeah, that corner down the bottom there is going to be a problem for us. Uh, right, we are heading up towards the line. Oh, God. I was going that way because I wanted to sweep the car around. We've murdered Shadow a little bit. Will Amy come a cropper somewhere? On this course, Shadow will. I've overdriven it. I've massively overshot that corner. That's okay. Uh, oh, and Pega has fallen off. The cover is in trouble. Uh, oh, brakes, 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 brakes. Come on. Come on. Climb, Legrand. Spin those wheels. I'm really worried about the donut. Like, this my handling with the tyre gone. I may have broken something in the steering. Shadow sent it, but sent it too hard. Shadow is off. We are going for a, it's a little bit of a slow and steady wins the race. I mean, we're kind of hoping Amy crashes and gets stuck. That's the only way we win this. We can't gain enough time to win this any other way, essentially. Um, where do I go? Where do I go? No idea. Uh, we are on to this descent with the Legrand. Uh... Uh, don't do something stupid. I mean, we've got a decent sized gap back to Shadow at this point. I can't see Amy making a mistake big enough for us to catch up here, but you never know. No, I think I think Amy has probably got that, it looks like. Yeah, it was kind of safely across the line for Amy. And I'm not going to set. We're so far back. I don't think there's any real point in me sending it. 
uh, to try and, and close in because, yeah, that's already across the finish line. The only thing that we could do was lose out to Shadow if he fell off. So, there we go. It is going to be a second place for us in this. I'm not too disappointed. Not too disappointed in that. I, I think Shadow's car was faster than mine. My damage, that punctured tyre really didn't help. I don't know if I did any other damage in that as well. My car was not great to drive from then on in, but we just had to live with it, essentially. Um, considering we, we, we fell off early on, we did have a chance to recover. Uh, Impega fell over. I don't quite know how Impega fell over. Um, yeah, Shadow pushed it a bit too hard getting past us and would make uh, make a mistake. And that will be Cherriers first and third. We split the Cherriers with the Legrand. Impega a little bit unlucky with that front wheel drive. Comet. It was very quick. Uh, just struggled in places around here. I don't know where it's ended up. Oh, it's ended up at the bottom of the <laughs> bottom of the lake. <laughs> oh, this has been fun. This is an absolutely, absolutely amazing map. Uh, so much fun to be tackling these courses with these cars. I hope you have enjoyed this challenge as much as we have. Um, yeah, highly, highly recommended. Links to all mods will be in the description if you want to download them and have a go with them yourself. But uh, here we go. That is going <laughs> to be it. Oh, the snowman floats. Well, that wasn't the most successful murder right there. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a uh, goodbye.